On that note, here are my pro tips for playing this wonderfully immersive, but sometimes frustratingly complex game. Tip one. First things first. When you're asked if you'd like instructions, take them. It may seem tempting to jump right into the game, but trust me, the instructions will be a big help. Tip two. Don't forget to keep a notepad and pen nearby. You'll want to take notes as you play. Tip three. If you're having trouble with the audio or speed of the game, don't worry. You can easily adjust these by going to the game menu and choosing the settings option. Tip four. Allow the game to auto map your way. If you do, you can find the map in the upper left corner of the inventory screen on all versions except VR. On VR, it's the X or primary button on the left controller. Or, for help, use the Y or secondary button. Check your map often. Though it won't reveal what is yet undiscovered, it will keep track of where you've been. It will also display where you have left items behind. Tip five, save early, save often. At any place that you find tricky, don't sweat it, just save your game. That minor action will vastly reduce any frustration. After completing a puzzle or obtaining an item, save your game. You can save repeatedly and even save over previous saved games as well. Tip six, the compass is essential for navigating the cave. So keep an eye on it. You'll find a compass at the top of the screen and your score will be at the top left corner. In VR, the compass will be on your left controller and your score on the right controller. Tip seven. The eye cursor is your friend. Use it to look around and explore your surroundings. The narrator will describe what you see. But when the eye glows over something, he will tell you even more. But remember, not everything you see is important. Some things are merely scenery. Tip eight. The hand cursor represents action. Wherever you see it glow at a certain area, it means you can try to interact with something. Inventory items also glow when hovered over an article they can interact with. Tip nine. Search widely with your cursors, whether the eye, hand, or inventory object. They will glow when they land over an important area. Tip 10. Your inventory will only hold seven items at a time. Therefore, you'll need to manage your inventory carefully and anticipate your needs. Your map will help you keep track of any items you drop along the way. You can also drop things in other areas strategically. Tip 11. Don't plan to finish the game in one sitting, as there are multiple ways to play it. Colossal Cave is bigger and more complex than it might seem. There are multiple ways to navigate this game. You'll need to come up with strategies, especially if you're aiming for that high score of 350 points. Tip 12. There are two mazes in Colossal Cave, and they can be somewhat challenging. However, there is a simple solution for both, and a hint will be offered when needed. Tip 13. You'll find that some cave passages are enchanted and may prevent passage. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep trying. With perseverance, you can make it through. Tip 14. And remember, not all puzzles are necessarily logical or fair, so be prepared for anything. The cave can be a prankster. Use magic to throw you off track or even get a bit cheeky at times. Another reason to save your game often. Tip 15. If you are feeling baffled, don't worry. There are hints throughout the game in places where they might be needed. If you are stuck, don't hesitate to take a hint. It will cost you some points, but it's worth it, especially if you're playing the game for the first time. Tip 16. If you're going for the high score of 350 points, 
you should have a strategy in mind. You will need to use your moves sparingly as the mischievous cave will thwart your plans. Alternate routes should be considered. When going for the maximum score, you will not want to take hints or do anything that takes away even a single point. Tip 17. If you have found the dwarf's axe and are carrying it around, be aware that it can be used to expel the dwarfs. Though it's true that they have a first move advantage, you most likely will have the chance to retaliate if you're quick. Eliminating the dwarfs one by one will lessen their presence. Tip 18. If you're feeling really stuck and need more help, you can call our hint line 206-207-9017. Our Colossal Cave is exactly the same as the original 350 point Crowther and Woods version as far as the gameplay and puzzles are concerned. So walkthroughs and hints online may help you as well. You may also access our website, colossalcave3d.com, for more hints or information. From its start as a simple text-based game to our latest revival, Colossal Cave's impact on the gaming industry is immeasurable. It not only paved the way for modern adventure games, it's still incredibly fun and challenging to play. I hope you'll try our tribute to this historic, phenomenal game and experience the magic for yourself. If you enjoy it, please give us an honest review. We hope others will enjoy the adventure as well. Thank you. Colossal Cave, reimagined by Roberta Williams. The only way out is in. Buy now wherever games are sold.